action. Hey everyone, I'm Michaela, and this is KMM's Kitchen. Today I'm by myself, but never fear, because I'm here. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, one must say, hey everyone, my name is Michaela, and welcome back to KMM's Kitchen. So today we're going to be making the da 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 sorrel. Okay, what is sorrel? Sorrel is a Jamaican drink that is enjoyed usually in the Christmas time, but nowadays people enjoy it all throughout the year. I, for one, love it anytime, any day. Sorrel is. It looks like this. These are the buds that we're going to be using to make the drink. We are also going to be using ginger. And today we're substituting lime or lime juice with lemon. And we'll also be using sugar. So, this is the finished product. This is how your sour will look. You see how it looks kind of dark? It's kind of like a deep, red color. So how did we get here? First, what you're going to do is get a big pot that can hold up to two or three cups of water depending on how many buds you want to use. After the water has come to a boil, you will add your buds. You will boil the buds for 20 to 30 minutes. Then you'll add your ginger and your lemon. You let it boil for 20 to 30 minutes and afterwards you will turn the stove off and let it stay overnight. Then, in the morning or afternoon, like what we're doing today, you take a strainer and have it in a bowl and you will strain the juice to get rid of the buds. So, for instance, let's do some straining. There the buds go. Please be careful, this tends to stain. Okay. And I'm wearing a white shirt. Let's see if I can get through this without getting it dirty. <laughs> Here are how the sorrel buds look now. Compared to the beginning. So now we're going to add some powdered ginger to give it a little pizzazz, right? Someone's a bit heavy handed with the ginger. A little heavy handed. Now we're going to add some lemon to the drink. Quick tip to soften up the lemon so you can get the most juice out of them. Just put them in the microwave for 30 seconds and you will get all the juice you need, unlike me. You're going to add as much sweetener as you want so it matches your taste. Now we're going to add sugar. In Jamaica, we normally use brown sugar, but I only have white sugar. So we're using white sugar. Yay! Mix it, mix it, mix it. Is there a Jamaican song with mix it? Mix, 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 mix. Just took it. Oh, like stuck it. What's he gonna say? What's he gonna do? Stick it. What's he gonna say? What's he gonna do? Stick it. What's he gonna say? What's he gonna do? Stick it. What's he gonna say? <laughs> so quick tip guys as you see we're not really going by any amount of like tablespoon or this 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 is a drink that you can really substitute and really make your own there are just some key ingredients that you really need to make sure that it is sorry like for instance the sorrel butts and i would say personally sorrel isn't sorrel without ginger other than that, you can really substitute for what you want because there are ingredients where there, there are certain recipes that they have orange peels. They use lime, they use liquor. Rum is a big favorite in Jamaica. Sorrel with rum at Christmas time. Delicious. Delicious. Oishi. So the grater is what you use to grate the ginger. So usually, this is what you would put in at the beginning when you are 
boiling the sorrel and leaving it overnight. You would have grated your ginger. This is stronger than the powder, so this is what Jamaicans like to use. Give you the kick you need. Every household in Jamaica has ginger. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is the stapling. Okay. This is the staple in Jamaica. Every household has a great home. This is also a staple in Jamaica. Every household has ginger like this. Don't mess with me. My mom had ginger. Your mom had ginger? She had one of them straight at the day. My mom too. Every old school Jamaican has one of those. Some of the mixture we still have a whole lot and we've put it into this bowl and now we're mixing it with a wooden spoon because what we were doing with this wasn't it it was it really just wasn't it so now we're doing this to mix and taste to make sure it is what you want. I like sweet drinks, so... Mmm, just right. Thanks! Make sure you try it at home and if you do, let us know. Bye! Later! <laughs> okay. Yes, it's been recording. Don't record me, dude!